Thank you very, very much there to Brett. Of course, we continue our conversation with our eco-expert, Luke Bax. We're talking all about spiders and our lines are open. 083-9133-728. Give us a call and ask your questions or make your comments. Maybe you can help us uh, sort out problems with spiders at home. Maybe you've got, you found a way of doing it. Luke, have you ever been scared of us? I know you love nature, but have you ever seen a spider and even remotely gone... <gasps> Uh, not really. I mean, you, the shock comes when you wake up. At, so, I mean, <laughs> to that. <laughs> That's pretty cool because then you got to go try find out what made it. I seem to just have, be having a technical <laughs> issue here. So let me really. So, oh, thank you very much. I'll take this up. Thank you very much. Um, tell me about the biggest spider in the world. So the biggest spider in the world is called the Brazilian bird-eating tarantula. Mm -hmm. um, the body, it's the, the record body length can get up to ten, and just the body is ten centimeters. So that's not excluding. Oh my word. That's not excluding the legs. I mean, well, that is excluding the legs. So it's the size of a dinner plate, pretty much. Um, in South Africa, our biggest spider is your baboon spider. Yeah. It is a type of tarantula, but the body, the maximum length is only about sixty centimeters. Sixty. Whoa. 60 millimeters, so yes. six centimeters. That's huge though. Yeah, they, they are pretty big. Um, they're really cool, but they are majoritively harmless. They rely a large in their power to, they're harmless to humans, but yeah. yeah. Let's really take a call right now. Uh, join is, John is joining us on the line. Good morning, John. Hello. Hi. Hi, John, where are you calling us from? I'm calling us, I'm calling from Denaysville. Denaysville, what's that? It's at the Valdam. In the Valdam, somewhere there. Okay, uh, what is your question? My question is, um, not too long ago, I was bitten by a spider. I don't know what spider it was, but um, it, it started as a small sort of, it looked like an ingrown hair, and um, it was really painful. I went to the pharmacist, and he said it's a spider bite. Hmm. And um, basically, in, within a few days, I had ended up in hospital, and had to have some surgery and had a, a wound that was about five centimeters by five centimeters big where they actually had to drain all the pus out. Mm -hmm. So I was told it could be a violin spider or some sort of small black jumping spider. And I was just wondering, you know, there's conflicting information and what could have caused this. So that, uh, John, that does sound like a violin spider. The violin spiders have got that cytotoxic venom which is, attacks your, um your body cells. So that breakdown and the cause of that uh, big wound in your, in your body is caused by the cytotoxic venom as your body starts to lose and degenerate cells. Mm. All right, John, thank you very much for that question. I've, I've got this fear. We've seen it in movies where the spider bites you and then like the next day there's a huge little bump on your, your hand or something and when you pop it, many little spiders <laughs> come out yeah. and they're all over you. Is that real? Does that ever happen? No, that doesn't happen. That, that, is, a, that is a myth. Um, spiders do not lay their eggs inside of you when they bite you. Okay. Um, spiders lay their eggs in, in, well, I mean, they lay it inside a big silk egg. It's, okay. It's a silk sac that they normally hang in a secluded area or suspend in your, like you'll see in the roof in your rafters, like in the corners of, of garage and stuff. You see those little white, those little white balls. Those mm -hmm. are generally the egg sacs. They okay. contain the eggs. And then once the, the babies have matured, I can't see anything there. No, <laughs> they're in the corner, the white yeah. sacks are there in the corner, you, they're camouflaged. What's the deadliest spider in the world? Um, it's probably one of your funnel webs in Australia. They are, they are massively venomous. They oh. cause, um, they, they do have a neurotoxic venom, so it attacks your nervous system. Versus our ones which have our cytotoxic venom. They actually, they've got people. Is yeah. that what it looks like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, luckily they're all down there in Australia. We're all right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that, that, is, that looks like a velvet spider oh almost. Oh, my word. How do, how do you come to love these creatures with all of their furry bodies and potentially venomous fangs? What, 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 what attracts you to them I just think so they're much? cool. Um, I, find them very, I find them very appealing. They've got, they come in such wide variety for variations of colors. Yeah. And it's just, like, I mean, they're awesome the way they, they, they get stuff done. Yeah. You, you, yeah, I mean, they... They're incredible hunters. Yeah. And you look at something that's the size of your fingernail that still manages to hunt and survive yeah. and avoid everything that wants to eat it and still manages to thrive in an yeah. environment. I guess we can all feel secure in the fact that most of our spiders in South Africa are not venomous. Yeah, Thank you exactly. very much for coming in this morning. No worries. So yeah, I think like most of us, you may be scared, but there are ways to ensure that the encounter between man and spider both can come out unharmed. Of course, stay safe out there and also do your best to preserve our ecology.